It's good that we keep going back to the reason for this demonstration in the first yeah, place and yes. why they were on the streets. Yes. And, and the consistent reference to the existential threats that we are faced with yeah. demanded that something be done to send a message. Mm -hmm. Right? But if you look at, and, and Laura, you were saying that you had a list yes. of some yes. persons who are not so before. Let me, we have yeah. some of the police stations that they were sent to. In fact, this, this, the one we're going to show on the screen, um, and therefore, for the benefit of those listening to us on radio, about 16 of them is what we know. But I'm mm -hmm. sure there are others that probably didn't even come. As, as I'm told that some of them were sent as far back as uh, the Tema. Tema police station, Tema, one of the communities. Yes, some of them we don't know as yeah. of now. Can you imagine? IG Dampari, and you are uh, holding your office. You should be out station of that office by Tessano now. police station, what is that? Sukura, what is that? Uh, yeah. Dansuma, uh, Nima, Oyibi, uh, railways, police station, ministries, West, Westlands, Legon, Ayimensa, Adabraka, mm. Jamestown, yeah. and so many other places. Yes, that's yes. what we do know. You say there yes. are some who, who you don't know we where don't they are. Know. We don't know where they are, please. What? So uh, they, uh, I'm on a platform where lawyers for the protesters are. I've been giving support, right? Mm -hmm. I've been mm -hmm. giving support. And I can confirm to you that the following persons, we don't know where they are. Mm -hmm. One, Fanny Otu. Two, Samuel Samako, please forgive my uh, accent in case I don't pronounce it well. Mm -hmm. Into brackets, Glenn. Three, Thomas Yebua. Four, Kelvin Nogbeji. Five, Mohammed King Hussein. I'm uh, sorry, King Hassan. Yeah, Six, Tanku Nambon. Yeah, Seven, Flip Ousu Kobina. Eight, Desmond Akisibik. Nine, Comrade Sadiq Abubakar. Comrade Sadiq Abubakar. So these people, we don't know where There's they are. Persons. Yes. Don't know where so they are. as lawyers, yes, so, as lawyers. So were they for taken them. to court? Or yes. They, they were taken to court? Yes. Because my understanding is that all of the 54 persons have mm -hmm. been remanded. Yes. Oh, yeah. okay. So yes. that's my understanding. Mm -hmm. My yes. understanding the, is that the, all of what, the 54 also, have been swept. But when we spoke to one of the lawyers, say that when they appeared in court, they they asked which police station they were mm -hmm. in and after the court hearing they took some of them to different stations that is what they're doing mm -hmm. IG so Dampari, if, if that's why your friend is you at, adam bona you he's reputed to be your friend tell them Paris that if, this if, is ghana if, ghana if, is not his if, personal if, property if, if you tell them Paris, how can you supervise if, if you were in police service it's also ah, yes, what does them paris oh you everybody tells me look my phone is full of multiple everybody tell them Paris is your friend i've always known anyway but i want you to know tell them Paris, this is not his personal property why is Dampari? So uh, this uh, political is more than a kufado. You are just interested in pleasing a kufado just because they say he will sack you. They are doing these things. It's right, it's right. Ah. No, no, no. Kazo. no, if Kazo. we don't do Kazo. that, we Kazo. will not get. Add this wise. Kazo. Look. How many Kazo. hours? Citizens can they can't Kazo. find their Kazo. lawyers. No, what are you I, saying? I How many I, I, hours? Today I, I is what Saturday. You, to say. you know what? Today is Saturday. Kazo. We can't find them. Yeah. Ah, don't they have family? Ah, that's what I've said. Hold on, hold on. That is what I said. Look. Ah. As we speak. There's been no communication on their whereabouts. Yes. So you are part of the lawyers who yes. are representing them. Yes. What action have you taken to identify where they are? Yes, so that's question. our look. So we have a coordinator, eh? uh, Rachel. They've gone, gone, gone around. Listen, I will show you my phone. If a team of over 70, eight, eight, now 80 something lawyers, let's just put it uh, 79. Legal protests. Mm -hmm. They've gone round, round, round. You can't find them. Look. Mr. So can say that's the page. Okay. That's the page. Look, look at the list. You see the uh, list huh? here. Look, look at look at the list. That's over 80 lawyers on a platform. Huh? And then we have people okay. who go around. There's a remedy. Okay. No, have you oh, oh, oh. Ah, when? If we are losing time, that's a problem. We are losing time. Look, when you read the Securities and Intelligence Act, right? National Security, they monitor radio. So it's Dan Paris, and Dan Paris has PID. The people who kill citizens have killed over 10 uh, Fulanis, killed the, uh, nine people it, in Botiano, the Nigerians, the seven. Is, oh, it's not a wild allegation, it's true. Ask so many the, people. The, the, this matter came up at, at ah. the, the probe. Why? That was established. There hasn't ah. been any conclusive. The people are dead, on. and you are doing but, what? Uh, no, relax. No, when you say, it's, you it's, mean that people so, have so, not died? No, I'm saying they, they are dead. But to say that. They go around killing people. We don't know that no. ah. because it's a subject of investigation. You know that, don't you? Yes. Uh -huh. so and so not, that's our that's conclusion. Not, but we've made not, complaints that they've killed. The police conclude. have killed. 
I now that people have died, so you are allowed to say I, I, you I think that they've killed. So and yours is that by investigation, it's still under investigation. Yes, and by that doesn't mean I cannot say they've killed. Yes, that concludes the investigation that is ongoing. Oh no, I've not said it's concluded, but the people are dead. Yes, the people are dead. So, oh, no, no, it's the, a, that's not a... The Podiano one, the Nigerians, are they also not the, dead? The, 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 I think the reports, uh -huh. I think the reports, uh -huh. I think they, they've done with the reports. Yeah, I but I think look for it. Uh, nine people, citizens. No, what? Then what, the Nigerians, what, six. But, the, then you, Fulani is have you seen that report? No, it's not out. So I'm talking about the death. So the death is what is most important. Uh, right? So, so their so, families so, are there so today. That's, that's, families that's, haven't heard anything. Uh, uh, then the report is somewhere. I, I, and we think that is good. I, I think, the I think you've made somewhere. your point. That, yes. Ah. The, the, the death has Why? Said, but I point is, I want is to this make uh, is somebody's private property? There is investigation ongoing in that matter. Ah. We want to make conclusions as to who did the killing. That's where I want us to establish clearly that we cannot pin... That no, thing. so the reports, so the citizens that, yes. have reported so that, that it's police that have killed them. Uh, Alfred, Let's be clear on that. Uh, uh, Alfred, I think this uh, is not a subject of the, of the Let conversation. Me say something. You so, see, when we need to be very careful because this is a very big platform. This indeed. issue about Nigerians being killed, the Nigerian uh, leaders here have come out to say they are not aware of it. So let's be very careful mm -hmm. because then you see, whatever we say here goes far. There will be people watching us all over the world. Mm -hmm. The Nigerians in this country have come out to say no Nigerian has died in the manner that probably we are putting us. So that we don't start mm. any, because we have mm. our citizens, no, Martin. So, so, we have so, our, so, no, Martin, so, let's be, Martin, let's be, let's be very yes. careful. Yes. Because hold you on. are mentioning another country citizen's yeah. mm -hmm. name. Yes. We have our citizens mm -hmm. in this country. Yeah. So uh, this issue came up on the floor of parliament. Yes. And then I'm told the Nigerian authorities in Ghana actually came out to say they are not, nothing of that nature happened. So we need to be very careful because now, then... The speaker said we should wait. They will do investigations. No, I, I am, I am. Uh -huh. what, what I'm saying is that... No, what, 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 I, what, I, what I'm saying is that at least I'm privy to the fact that the Nigerian authorities came here. I wouldn't want to say, mm -hmm. but I am privy because I work within the sector. They came out to say this thing... That has been alleged. They didn't. So we need to be very careful. Let's also be careful. There's an ASP called Jalil. Jalil Bawa. There's a policeman. So, so, there are policemen who were there when they were shot. It's okay. So, 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 He's alive. So, so, let's is Jalil not alive? Martin, no, let's be a no. bit careful. If Jalil is lying, if Jalil is lying, Jalil, Jalil Bawa is a policeman. What is this? If he's lying, set up a pro, put it on TV. Jalil Bawa, he's a policeman. He was there when they killed him. He was part of the investigations. I do not want this to be a part of the yeah. conversation we're having this morning. Yeah. What I want to indicate is that because of the statement that you made, mm -hmm. making reference to the police culpability yeah. in this matter when investigations are ongoing, yeah. I needed to be clear on that, that to the extent that investigations have not been concluded, we cannot make a conclusive statement. I think that's... Um, oh, it's alleged. Uh, no, uh, yes, but then there has to be some basis to the allegation. Yeah. That's not necessarily... The fact that you see and you know, uh, that it, 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 it's alleged. That's not, yes. that's not excuse you of the burden of proof. Yes. You know, so yeah, let's, let's... Okay. Yes, thank you. Let's go on to the telephone now. Uh, Benjamin Church, ACP, Dr. Benjamin Agozo, retired is a former police chief and his lawyer coincidentally his lawyer martin mm -hmm. yeah you you you, you yeah were, i represented him with my team Komivi jochi marcel yusbia amdia mohammed etc he's joining us on the on the telephone acp dr benjamin agodo good morning thank you for joining us here on key point good morning and my regards to all the panelists Great. And I understand you know, some difficulty joining us on Zoom, but I, I appreciate your patience having to, to go through the, the process. Now, f for you, knowing the processes of the, of the Ghana Police Service, now there's been an admission that, yes, they held some protesters beyond the 48 hours as allowed by law. What they have done in the statement that they have issued is that they have referred this matter to the Police Professional Standards Bureau, formerly PIPS. There's a concern that any time that the police has investigated itself, we don't see 
the end of such investigations. Now, is it one that you would subscribe to or knowing the internal measures in the police service, this matter can be investigated by them and then we would have some, some punitive measures taken? Um, if you can see, uh, uh, if you in indulge me, I'd like to um, do some preliminary remarks here before I, I come to the main issue that you, you raised. Um, first of all, I, I'd like to agree to some extent with my friend Dr. Adam Bona on the conduct of uh, the demonstrators, uh, Democracy Hub. I think they can do better or they could have done better than what they did and some of the comments they are alleged to have made uh, were just unfortunate. But having said that, i like to also point out that um, police should be encouraged to see demonstrations as something that contributes to a peaceful country rather than one that destroys it. That's my first point. i like to also mention that Demonstrations can be very loud. Demonstrators can be very enthusiastic. Demonstrators can even point and insult sometimes. Uh, 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 the police officers, they could be bustled. Yet those demonstrations could be deemed as peaceful. So, in a sense, demonstrations are not church processes where we think that everything should be in absolute terms peaceful, where they just feel like church people and then move on. I mean, we should not expect that. We should also look that even in developed countries that we are copying from, some of the demonstrations are very, very violent. We are not asking for violence, but when there is one, there are procedures and processes by which the police can act and deal with some of those things. So we must go in for those procedures, rather than the manner in which the police uh, 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 acted. Because they are professionals. If the police acted in the way they did, and as we have on tape and record, then what is the difference between the police and then the demonstrators that we are condemning? What is the difference between them? Between the two, there's no better one. So we should always encourage the police to be very professional, why would you arrest onlookers? Why would you arrest people who were passed by? Why would you arrest, I mean, the manner in which they did it was so unprofessional. And let us be minded about some of those things. Now, having said that, let me go back to the question that you, the question that you asked. First of all, let me commend the police administration for admitting that um, there were two people who were detained uh, beyond the 48 hours. And let me also link this with what my counsel, Mr. Pebu, said, that, you know, 40, by 48 hours, the person should be in court. 48 hours should not be at the police station before you leave the court, because by that time you are over 48 hours. That's the first point, another point I'm making. The second point on this 48 matter, uh, matter is this. When does detention start? Detention starts with arrest. The moment you are, your movement is restrained by the police, you have been arrested, your movement has been restrained, restrained, and therefore the 48 hours start counting there. Technically, you must begin to appreciate that. Because you know something? The police can arrest you at 9 a.m., and they can go around with you in the whole of Accra and go to a, get to a police station by 7 p.m. When does the arrest start? It starts at 9. So the 48 hours must start counting by 9 a.m., not at 7 p.m. that you have been formally put into detention. The moment you are arrested and your movement has been restrained, it means that the 48 hours start counting. And I believe that our lawyers must begin to agitate on this matter. Then back to the issue of uh, professional standards unit. I admit yes, that uh, the police yes, could investigate some of these things, but not when an issue of such a national character has been raised.
police denied it initially, and now they have admitted it. Why should police investigate itself? I mentioned elsewhere yesterday that we have something we call a three de call in the Ghana police, in the police service generally in the world. When police investigate themselves, they tend to be lenient towards themselves. They tend to support themselves. They tend to vindicate themselves. And I'll give you two examples. In 2016, I think whether 2016 or 2015, during the Let My Vote Count demonstration, where a lot of people were beating, including Gabi, the police set up a committee by itself and they vindicated themselves. And I can tell you that at the end of the day, I was at the police headquarters. They vindicated themselves. They felt that they did the right things. Again, I, I, I recall the one at the, uh, uh, um, I mentioned yesterday, when a guy was killed, the police professional standards unit was supposed to, was asked to investigate it. At the end of the day, we have not seen the report. So what is the guarantee that with this, the police are going to do a good job? My point is that, in essence, in other democracies like UK, Malawi, and other places, we have what we call independent police complaint commissions, which investigate such things, such issues, to increase public confidence in the police complaint system. But in the absence of such um, independent police complaint commission, we could have the Minister for Interior coming out with an independent committee to investigate the police, but not allowing the police to investigate themselves. Because if the police investigate itself in this matter, there will be cover-ups. I can assure you that there will be cover-ups. I have been a police officer for 36 years, so when I say certain, and I've served at certain strategic levels, and I know what I'm talking about, I'm just giving you an example of the let my vote count and demonstration, and how police investigated itself, and then vindicated itself. All the people's eyes were gorged and all kinds of things. They vindicated themselves. I remember police were using hoods at the time. They still vindicated themselves. So what is the guarantee that police are not going to vindicate themselves in this kind of matter? I am strongly of the view that the IGP, Mr. Dan Parry, does not have the moral authority at this time to investigate himself or himself in this matter. He's been involved in it from day one. And therefore, the Minister for Interior should take up the matter and investigate, uh, investigate it. That, those are my comments. I don't know whether you have some questions on this matter, and I can continue. Indeed. You want the, the another body the, yes. to, to take it up. And this time, you want the Interior Ministry yes. to want to invest. But then again, that is also an agency of the state. I've, I've heard proposals for an independent inquiry into this. And that's exactly uh, what I mean. I'm so, talking about a situation where the Minister for the Interior will set up an independent committee, a committee made up of independent-minded people to investigate this matter and come out with reports that will, that, that, that will improve our, 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 our service delivery and other things, especially when it comes to demonstration. But we cannot afford to ask the police to investigate themselves in this kind of matter. Because you see, we have clear guidelines when it comes to demonstration and policing demonstration. The police must deal with it in accordance with those principles. Let me give you a typical example. In 2016, we developed what we call the Ghana Police Incident Public Order Management, uh, uh, Ghana Police Incident and Public Order Management Manual. 2016, which we call IPOM, which was um, by DFID now, FCD, and it was to harmonize all the public other tactics that we've had. Remember, we had some from the French, the uh, British, and other people, and the Asians, and other people. So we harmonize them, and these things are available. So you don't just go on rounding up passed by all lookers and all kinds of people, and even those who were, who, 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 were, who were breaching the laws, you have a procedure by which you must deal with them. 
We must have warning to them. We must have speakers, uh, what, uh, microphones that we should use when we are going for that demonstration. We never saw some of these things. None of those things were shown. We never saw it. Those warnings, human rights issues are all embedded in it. We see people's rights being violated. And we are talking about the, 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 the only the people who have been uh, uh, violating the rights. No, you are not a look. Let me give you an example. My lawyer, Martin Tebu, is seated there. He had to fight at the BNI before I was allowed, uh, before he himself and my family was allowed to see me. And in the BNI, for instance, you cannot be to somebody even twice in a week. Once, if you come the second time, you'll be frustrated. And even the first time, it will take you about five hours. Up at the top of his head, uh, voice, before he was allowed as my lawyer to see me. And consequently, there were frustrations. They could not do that. Look at the treated fact that um, the, 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 the attorney general presented at the court. And I am, I am used to this kind of thing because my facts were, facts were treated against me. We cannot practice our democracy in this way. There are ethical values embedded in our demo, in democratic principles. And this attorney general, we must call him to order. This kind of <laughs> continuous cheating and fabrication of facts must stop. Well, and we must stop. Dr. Kojo, you're right. Now, to the extent that in other jurisdictions, when incidents like this happen, it informs conversations about what has to be done going forward to improve on systems and structures so such situations are not repeated. This is not going to be the last of the demonstrations we're going to have in this country. Yes. What has to be put in place to ensure that incidents like this are not repeated going forward? Can it... Thank you very much. You know, there have been a lot of commissions of inquiry in the past. Some of them have not worked. <laughs> and, and, and the most important one that is very uh, interesting is the Asha Committee, Asha, Comi Asha, Com Asha Commission report. And all these things have been talking about uh, 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 demonstration, policing demonstration, and all kinds of things. But at the end of it all, some of the things that we could pick is training. And not just training, the problem-based training. Not just problem-based training, the problem-based training that is to do what Professor Tsububa called historical institutionalism. And what is historical institutionalism? Police have a psyche as to how they want to have a subculture, as to how they do their own thing. And I have sat in class many years ago where an instructor will tell me when they just beat them up. That is the historical institutionalism we are talking about. Problem, those learning, that will unlearn some of these things that Dr. Shuguba called historical institutionalism. And I, I think that I call, I call this a, a traditional institutional Yodeya structure that we must change. We must not just do that, we must also insist on curriculum, renewal, programs at all levels, at all levels, from basic to cadet. And then to even assistant commissioners and all kinds of things. I remember that during Alassan's time, you cannot become an assistant commissioner or any position without, uh, not Alassan, I think that you're true and Alassan. You cannot do that without going for any training. And there must be training before you are promoted. These days, you are just picked and promoted. And people are even, uh, their juniors are promoted above others based on uh, the perception of the IDP alone. And these are matters before court now that we might deal with. Okay. So we are talking about not just any finish here, we are not talking about just any training or some kind of training. We are not talking about training that is counterproductive. The training and training that shares negative experiences, the training that will undo the negative so that we can learn new things. And it must also go along with institutional building. An empowerment of the people of the police service and then the citizens as well. No. These are some of the things that we can deal with. Dr. Benjamin Agodo. I, I thank you so much uh, for your input as well and your intervention. Thank you for joining us here on Key Point. 